This is Riot LOL. Omar is his real name. He's a 20-year-old kick streamer, TikToker, Twitter slash X user, whatever you want to call it. And here's him about to get a girl that's clearly, let's say, not of age to expose herself live on his stream. But before we get there, let me tell you about a website called Kick. Kick. Wait, I think I've seen his face before somewhere. I'm not sure. Maybe in real life or social media. I'm not very sure, but I've seen his face somewhere. He does look familiar, but let's continue the video. Is a live streaming competitor to Twitch. Started by these three dudes, one of them being a live streamer named Trainrex, who left Twitch to start Kick because of their inconsistent policies. Now, Kick is fairly new and more lenient on what you can and can't do on there. That's why some of the most controversial figures have made Kick their new home. Giving Kick this persona of being the place for the troublemakers, the rebels, the place for free speech where anyone can say anything and anything can happen. Hey, even people in my field, some Omi TV and Omegle creators have also moved over to Kick. Also, Omi TV is an Omegle alternative that everyone's been using since the original Omegle shutdown. But for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna call it Omegle because it's basically Omegle 2.0. But let me paint you a picture. Creators on YouTube that live stream Omegle content have to cover the screen because it's always unpredictable predictable what you're going to see on there. Not going to lie, some of the things you see on Omegle could get your channel terminated just like that. It gives you a little bit of a perspective on how Kick operates. All right, now let's talk about Riot LOL. When you first enter Riot in a bunch of these Kick creators' live streams, you get a warning saying you must be 18 or older to view this content. Keep that in the back of your mind going forward for the rest of this video. Fair warning, this is going to get very serious very quickly, and I definitely understand if you want to sit this one out. But here we go. Riot live streams for three to seven hours every single night sometimes even longer. His content consists of just trying to find girls on Omegle. Like it's literally the main focus of his content for hours on end. And after going through dozens of his VODs, you start to notice a pattern. Hey. Now, hello, my name's Omar, uh, nice to meet you. Um, Hi, Omar. Nice to meet you, tits. Where are you from, tits? Hello, tits. Hey. Oh my, tits. Hello, tits. My name's Omar, nice to meet you, tits. Where are you from, tits? All right, let me tell you uh, where I'll take you on a date. Let me know if it hits. All right, uh, I'll pick you up. I'll pick you up. I'll pick you up. So I'll pick you up, and then we'll get some, we'll get some sushi. Uh, we get some sushi. We get sushi. We'll get sushi. All right, and then I don't, I don't really fuck with like boring dates. You know what I'm saying? They gotta be like fun, right? Not awkward, not corny. I don't like the boring dates, you know, where it just feels like unorganic and it's just like cringy and awkward. So I like to do something to break the ice. Oh, probably like a carnival. 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 A carnival. Okay. So like play some games, ride some rides. You ride me. And then, um, and then, like, I'll win you a cute bear. He tries to quote unquote riz up these girls by saying the same lines over and over again, just so that he can eventually get their Snapchats so that he can build up his Snapchat roster. Dude, my roster is actually nice. No, 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 no. And that's it. That's his content. Is what I thought until I saw this interaction. He started the conversation off by doing the same old shtick. The more they talked, the more the girl was opening up to him, telling him about a toxic and abusive ex she had. I'm gonna spare you the details. And let me remind you, she has no idea that she's saying this in front of a live stream full of hundreds of people. And the worst part is that she seemed very out of it. She was slurring her words, jumping from one conversation to the next, pausing in the middle of talking just to examine the room while blinking. So that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Wow. Anyway. Wait, what did you say? Oh, nothing. And after that, she told Riot that she was drugged by someone at a concert that night. Can I tell you something? I was uh, at a festival, but no, I, not at a festival, but at a, at a concert. You know, Foo Fighters? They, they came in my, in where I live right now. This guy he came to me and he gave me this kind of cake he, he said like hey take these you're gonna feel so good so i ate them with my friends but i ate one completely there was in this uh. i still feel up and really yeah 
Whatever. But the entire time she was saying all that, Riot was constantly looking at the kick chat. And all they were saying was, Z, 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 Z. She's yapping like crazy. She's hot, but talks too much. Omar doesn't even seem amused. And after seeing all of those comments, it sparks Riot to say this. All right, dude, listen. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I can't do this anymore, bro. The curiosity is just f***ing like, it's like spinning in the back of my head. It's killing me. Like, dude, listen. Let's, let's go. Fit check. Come on. <gasps> Come on. Spit check. I'm like, I'm not gonna lie. That's like enough talking, bro. I'm like, uh, I'm like about to sleep. Yeah, let's go. I don't want to get too Wait, it's like getting so hot in my room. Yeah, hold on. So, uh, you know, I'm shirtless. Your shirt is on. This is a really tough situation, you know? He proceeds to cover the screen. We should get on the same page here, you know? Can I see your <laughs> Like, <laughs> Why am I doing that? Because I'm f***ing high that I'm doing that, but it's so f***ing embarrassing. Like, uh, set it up. I'm what? Let me see. Damn. Holy <laughs> shit. I mean, you should get a fat ass, right? I mean, like, at this point, can I, like, you know. Can I see it? And then the audio goes silent for a few minutes. And then he comes back and does this. Bang! I'm the GOAT. Join the Discord, boys. I wish there was a way I could, like, cut out my version, because, like, I'm not gonna lie, chat. Oh, God, I was about to risk it all. I, I get done around here, boys. Is that fire? I'm not gonna lie, that was the baddest girl I've ever bagged. What you just witnessed is the main reason why I'm making this video. He goes on Omegle just to get girls to expose themselves so that he can secretly screen record it and post it onto a Discord server under an NSFW channel. That is his content. And it's all done live on kick and the worst part is that was an example of a girl that's of age here's one that's not overall team and i didn't spend a single pe oh my oh my god my like out what the hell yeah like i mean like why are they not more out is a real question i mean like what time is it you know it's already demon hours F it. wait listen how old are you i'm 19. oh i'm 16. <laughs> you said 18? Yeah, yeah. He has this little trick that he likes to do. It's kind of a manipulation tactic where he goes like, you're 18, right? As if he's gonna magically turn this kid into an adult. But uh, last time I checked, that's just not how that works. You said 18? Yeah, yeah. You're 18, yeah? Yeah. Oh, cool. All right, so um, I don't see an issue here. I'm not gonna lie though, bro is taking it too far. I swear to God. And just like before, he proceeds to cover the screen. It's like, uh, you know, it's kind of like, I don't know, it looks really hot in your room. Like, you need to, like, like take anything off or, like, uh, damn. Holy. Wait, can you, like, can you, like, shake him a little bit? Damn. Dude, out of my Snapchat. I'm not going to lie. Holy f you're bad. All right. Okay. You out of my Snapchat. Please tell me you out of my Snapchat. I'm going to right after all right, you. All right, all right, all right. All right, bro, peace. Good night. And when he comes back. Oh, my God. Chat, you said she was 18. Here y'all on. Four. Nah, Chad, I'm not gonna lie. That was a fucking dub. Ew, dude. That's weird. I got like two clips of them. Bro, like she just like took off her shirt. We were just vibing. Like, ha, ha. Well, like, I didn't even know. Nah, that was crazy, Chad. Holy f That's like, I'm not even trolling. The best dub I've gotten yet. All right, Chad, it's in there. It's in there. Join the Discord. Let me know if they're W, Fire, or Mid. Or Chad, they were nice, right? Go look at the Discord. We just got a huge dub. I could have brought that. I, honestly, dude, Chad, if I wasn't streaming, I could have got that to do it everything chat like dude everything bro there's no care no remorse to him it's just content when in reality what he just did is and i'm not going to sugarcoat it possession and distribution of cp all done live on kick and to all the weirdos out there that are like well the age of consent is actually 16 um I got two answers for you. Riot, who is based in Miami, as he publicly states on his profiles and also on his streams, the age of consent there is 18. And regardless of the Romeo and Juliet laws, where in some states 16 is the age of consent, 18 is the age for pornographic material in all states. So any age under 18 is CP. And it doesn't matter if the girl takes them and sends them. It is still CP. And two, if you really want to be on that age of consent is 16 thing, uh, well, just roll the clip. I like your glasses. I mean, they're fake as f 
But they look good on you. They're not me. Are you nearsighted or farsighted? Far. Okay. Um, That's good then. So like when we're up close, like you went in for a kiss, like you want like headbutt me or some dumb shit, you know? Alright, you're actually really pretty though. You're like wifey material. I'll take you on a date, you know? I'm not gonna lie. Alright, rate that date one through ten. <laughs> ten? Wait, how old are you? Oh my god. You're gonna skip if I tell you my I mean like you're eighteen, right? <laughs> Wait, say your age. You're gonna skip though. Would you say your age? Okay, so I'm gonna. <laughs> Yo. All right, okay. Um, hey, cops, I promise. Like, I swear, age is just a number. I'm gonna ask you again, okay? I'm 19. How old are you? 18. You're 18. Nod your head if you're 18. All right, uh, you know. All right, can I get like a fit check? All right, I'm not gonna lie, dude. Look, I'm a really transparent guy. I just kind of like skip all the bullshit. You know, because it's like, nah, it's just like a waste of time. To be honest, can you just like, okay, when you stood up, I was really only looking at one thing, to be honest. Uh, can you just like, show me your tits? Awesome show. I know it sounds crazy, but if you think about it, this could lead into something great, you know? My mom's here. I didn't do that. Word. Damn. All right, then. Well, I mean, like, wait, why not? Not like right away. All right, well, let's, let's just wait a second. All right, so you know it's been like not right away, and the curiosity is just killing. <laughs> All right, dude, this is what I like. Can I just hear this, bro? Like real shit. Yeah, thank you were cool. Love All that. right. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, man. Bro is doing everything to get the girls to flash, which is quite dedicated. I'll give him that. You feel me? Chad, that's 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 the shit I do for you guys, bro. This man pressured a 15 year old to flash. For them, his viewers, that for some reason want to see that. Also, we have no idea how old Riot's viewers are behind the screen. So they could be a bunch of toddlers or a bunch of grown adult men, which is concerning in so many ways. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Riot streams for hundreds of people every single night who, let's be honest, are only there for one thing and one thing only. The girls, not the creator, the girls. If you remove the aspect of girls from more than half of these kick creators, they would have no content. They would not know what to do. Therefore, their views would go down. Besides being an absolute annoyance in society and doing or saying the most controversial things just to get their five seconds of fame on Twitter for the day, if they're not doing any of that, well, there better be a girl on the screen because then these talentless creators would have nothing. Now, it's one thing to work with these creators, which I don't know why you would do that to each their own. But it's one thing to work with these creators by collabing or doing these e-date streams that a lot of them love to do. But it's another thing to not even know that the explicit stuff that you did for someone was being live streamed secretly screen recorded and posted elsewhere on the internet and i would add an additional level of fear if you are a child having all this happen to you what i've shown you are three examples from riot stream each interaction only lasting around five to 15 minutes he streams for three to seven hours a night and he's been doing this for five plus months now so it's safe to say that there's multiple girls actually no i'm gonna say it multiple victims that right now don't know they don't know that they were on his streams riot has lots of connections and knows a lot of kick streamers slowly trying to grow his audience bigger and bigger on kick's platform he's even started to get recognized on omegle wait 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 you know me you watch my streams and what strikes me about kick streamers is their sense of humor when i meet girls in person i get nervous and how do i get better you gotta just push yourself you gotta like be like oh shit. now it's time to if it gets really bad just get the release no you, what the f i thought that's what? where you're going with that do we get married uh, i'm gonna thank you don't I make me use a please like i i ran out of them like let's just make this easy okay since i'm like famous on fans would you like to hop on you know we make a cool little movie yeah absolutely not i that's just ran out of Okay, like let's just make this nice and easy. Where the f is my sleepover invite? She burned it. It's okay. I was gonna slip in while you're sleeping either way. Hold on. <laughs> I accidentally read you. Nah, I'm tweaking, bro. You think I actually beat one? <laughs> That's 
fucking weird. Like, to make a joke about, like, someone beating women? Like, not the like, that's weird. Stop being soft, bro. It's a fucking joke. I'm not soft. All I'm saying is it's a little weird. I mean... Yeah, no, all dark humor is weird. But that's the funny in it. So what was I supposed to say? Beating a woman doesn't really, like... No, I'm saying we were with you. We played some class fuckery on you. It was funny, because we were sitting on a call. He saw me talking to you, because I was screen sharing. So I was like, dude, you should with her. Like... And then, yeah. But then, I don't know. He labels this as dark humor. Where's the joke? It's especially concerning when you are actively trying to build a community as an influencer. And this is how you influence your audience. If you guys want, honestly, the script that will work a thousand times out of ten, it will never fail. No matter on the girl, the situation, no anything. This textbook Riz, it works every time. You grab a little, um, I'm not going to say it. You curry that into a cup and you just give it to her, you know? And then from there, it's cake. I'm kidding. Holy that was crazy. He's so comfortable saying this every single night on his streams that it legitimately gets me concerned about any girl that gets remotely near him. He also has a private Discord server for any person that makes clips from portions of his kick streams and posts them to TikTok. Hey, by the way, Chad, if you do not know, I have this Discord where we chill off stream. It's called Out the Hood, okay? We put, um, so it's just like my mods and a whole bunch of clippers. It's where I literally, I end stream, I go in there and we just kick it and we just do like, I'll do like Omi Discord streams are fucking crazy. We gamble a little bit. So if you want in the Discord, you, you know, just make a little TikTok page. Post some of my clips. Each video they get 75k views. I cash that be like 30 bucks. Oh no, that's fucked up. What the fuck? I mean, it's quite. It's even wrong enough that you get the girls to flash them to flash on camera, and your friends are like on Zoom call listening to or seeing everything. That is even wrong enough. Now you get in the video and posting it on all the social media is very very wrong, man. Damn, man, this dude is going way too far. I ain't gonna lie. He types it up as a place where he can be more relaxed, where he doesn't have to worry about saying or doing the wrong thing on stream. If this is how he acts on Omegle on stream, it scares me to think how he acts on Omegle off stream. He even has a running gag that he and his chat do every single night and these are from one-off occasions where riot tells these girls that he's a streamer wait chat one in the chat if you're smashing two if you're passing well, someone said three. Oh, three? Oh my <laughs> god it's really bad why <laughs> three is two? <gasps> that so they like you a lot apparently there's a lot of threes in here what is three i need to know what three is don't worry about it oh my god chat it's just an inside joke don't worry about it three means uh think of a word that rhymes with grape oh so I think they like you. Like they like you a lot. Stop saying three chat. You wanna know what three means? It's crazy. I don't know how this inside joke started, bro, but what's like a word that rhymes with grape? Uh, so everyone uh spamming three I think really likes you, you know? Like really likes you. Oh my god, dude. We gotta dude that three trend is crazy, bruh. We literally started some Bruh. I bet most streamers are so confused now because I'm I swear to god I've been opening chats and I've been seeing threes when baddies come up and it the, the streamer doesn't even know what the f it means They spam three For any girl that they think is How is that in any way funny so where is kick in all of this, there is actual criminal activity happening on their platform, and they're not doing anything about it. Riot is a verified account on their website, by the way. So I feel like Kick should be quick to notice this. Where is Kick staff members to moderate their site and ban him instantly? Well, luckily there are Kick staff members, but Riot is friends with them. Bro, has Kick on his side. Oh, God, I got Andre on my side. Hey, Andre, are you still in the chat? I have a question. All right, Andre, if I had Kick on stream, would I get banned? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Our goal is to keep everyone safe. I agree, man. Chat. Now read the first letter of every word. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Riot is so good with them that he's comfortable doing his brand of humor directly to their face in chat. I'm always on my Ooh. best behavior, Andre, don't worry. Hi. Oh, I remember oh, you. Wow. Hey, Andre's in my chat, can you shake his? What? Andre said yeah. he's 
B. Shake some ass, bitch. Quote, word for word. Isn't this chick 15, dude? <laughs> See, like I Yo, Andre, to... <laughs> really? She's 15. Andre, she's 15. Ooh. What the f***, Andre? Stop asking these girls to get kid. So, these are Riot's true colors. And it's all done live every single night on Kick. Now, why would Kick give their stamp of approval to people that think this is funny? Chad, these those are not loyal. Don't ever cuff a girl, okay? Oh my, what's your name? Hey, listen, you're really pretty, but can I talk to the one in the middle? <laughs> Yo, I'm kidding. All right, that's insane. <laughs> Yo. Now, I had to blur out who Riot was actually talking about. Because it was a baby. An actual infant. This type of content, this creator, kick as a platform in general, has, in my opinion, gone on for long enough. It has shown itself time and time again to be a platform full of dangerous and harmful people. There are more creators like Riot out there, but that's a story for another day. But in the meantime, let's catch Riot, because I have a few questions I would love to ask him. I tried to connect with him on the original Meagle, and this happened. Really, dude. Oh, this shit about to get serious, boy. No f***ing way, bro. Now that I got your attention, can I ask you a few questions, man? Yeah, sure. I know that girl, by the way. I saw her before, but yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, man. How, how are you doing? How's the kickstreams doing? Oh, what the f***? Yeah, how's the kickstreams doing? So before I could even get to my main question, he skipped me. So I guess that's it. But do you remember that girl from earlier? The girl who said that she was drugged at a party and Riot still got her to expose herself? Well, I managed to find her on Omegle, minutes after her interaction with Riot. And I told her everything about him in his stream. She still seemed clearly out of it and uh, I couldn't help but feel so terrible for her. She was so easily manipulated. But she told me that if she were to connect with Riot again, that she would give him a piece of her mind. And I'm proud to say that she did that. Dude, why are you still on here? <laughs> okay, first of all, like, I'm not f***ing dumb. What do you mean? I'm not dumb. You know, I was watching your f***ing live, bitch. What? How'd you find my live? <laughs> I found your live. Wait, you how know? though? Oh, you Do you, you like it? Know? Are the shoes fire or no? I just want to acknowledge how dumb of a question this is. You just got a girl to unknowingly expose herself in front of a live stream and then have her body put onto a Discord server. How do you think she's going to react? Are the shoes fire or no? Mid, good, shit. You f***ing are a psychopath. Oh, that for real? Yeah, and you shouldn't be doing that. Wait. I don't get it. Hmm, interesting. Now, this is the moment. This is the exact moment that I feel like should be studied by so many human psychologists. Because right now, Riot's brain cannot compute why this girl possibly wouldn't like his streams. He's also trying to figure out who could have possibly have told her that he's a streamer. And in the craziest display of luck and perfect timing, as he's still in the state of confusion, guess who connects with him again? Yo, man. Suavemente. That was the guy? That was the same girl I just saw, bro. Skipped her. And now, everything makes sense to him. He finally connected the dots. And because of that, he proceeds to close Omegle, listen to his Spotify playlist, and plays Fortnite. But during that entire time, he's playing Fortnite. He's texting his people. Hey chat, what's that YouTuber's app? The guy that you guys kept saying, um, I kept skipping him? What's his app? Something about chickens. No, it's not even that. It's just like, I'm not even being entertaining either right now. I'm just, that, that idea of news bugging me out, you know? And he ends the stream like this. I'm gonna go clear my head, bro. Like, this is actually bad. Um, and like, it's really, really bad, bro. I'm like low-key scared. Oh my god. I love you guys, okay? Um, I love you guys. That's all I can say. I'm not gonna write anyone. I'm just gonna go to bed. Peace out, chat. He proceeds to remove the NSFW channel from his Discord, delete all of his previous stream VODs, and stayed radio silent 
for a few days. All of this happened a while ago, because I was waiting to see if he would change his content in any way. And, uh... No. N not at all. He still tries to seek out girls on Omegle and tries to get their snaps. He still asks these girls to pop one, but now he just doesn't have an NSFW channel to put it in. It's just for his eyes only. As if that makes it any better. All right, can I see your tits? I'm gonna hide screen, hold on. On God, on God, I hit it, on my life, look. See, I swear to God. His chat needs to frequently remind him to ask the girls their age before getting into inappropriate questions. It's bad when you never- <laughs> Hey, maybe like remind me? Like you guys never remind me to check the age. You have one job. I always look at chat. All you have to do is just remind me, but you never do it, bro. But alas, here's him talking to a 17 year old connecting with this girl on omegle oh sorry was... you look like the dude from victorious Heck? oh you could be my jade so how old are you i'm 17. gulp yeah fbi i swear i'm innocent i didn't do shit, bro hold on i'm looking I... something up um but pronunciation from like netflix having a long and inappropriate conversation with her our babies would be cute <laughs> I could you just went there yeah and just jumped it, you know what I'm saying? Fuck a first date. How many bodies do you have? Another way you can get your ass fatter is, um, I heard squats on my face. Did you have snap or just IG? Yeah, I also got snap. You know, I was actually born with, like, a superpower, for real. What's your superpower? Okay, I can guess any girl's bra size. I don't want to make it, like, sexual, but, like, go like this. Wait, so okay. you're, you're, you're a virgin, too? Dude, you have to come to America, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I live in Miami, so you would love it. Alright, you're a virgin, but, like, hypothetically, if you weren't, what do you think would be your favorite position? That's gotta be, like, top... 10 things that piss Bro, she's 17, dude. I'm a texter. You're on delivered? Actually, her tits are my phone, pal. Even adding her on Discord, and this is a rare case where he told her about his streams, and she became a regular appearance on his streams for a while, continuing to talk sexually. They talked all the time. What did you say? He's really attractive in guys so I can make up for it? There you go. V-line. Is there, is there a trust? You'll see it on Snap tonight, I promise. I'm gonna fly you out, bro. On God, I'm flying you out. Cause, um, I'm not gonna lie, the shit you were uh, saying last night was uh, very, very convincing. What are the odds you would actually let me fly you out? When I'm 18. He knows I'm 17. Why do they know? Why do they know what? No, they say you saw my 17 year old tip, which is not true. Oh, yeah, no. I'm trolling, by the way. Just kidding. Deleted three chats? What did you delete? Oh, the... Oh, those... Wait, chat, I'm not... Hopefully this is still in our save. It was something you said. Hold on. You don't care if I show, like... It's just words. It doesn't really matter. Don't stop it! W you right in the f***ing chat! I'm not gonna say what I sent, but, uh... Yo, Can I fly yeah. you out? You know why you can't right now, but it's not legal to say your chest. Yo! She didn't mean it like that, chat. She's... Why'd you just say that, bro? They're gonna be on my... They're always on your... Did you be on my day? And if anyone raised any concern about the age, here's his response. Chat, listen, bro. I don't give a f bro. Listen, I'm not promoting anything weird. I'm just saying this, okay? F you if you think it's weird. You're just a fucking American like hick. Like on God, you guys are retarded. <laughs> he just doesn't care. Chat, bro, she's gone. I'm just gonna fucking... Dude, one day, bro, I'm gonna fly her out. And you're just fucking... Oh, bro, he's doing too fucking much. Oh my god. And there's even more examples. <gasps> Hello. Hi, how you doing? I'm good. Wow. Like, I, I like you. Uh, a lot. How old are you? Please be 18 or above. I'm praying. Okay, it's disappointing, but I'm 17. Wait, I'm 20. How old did you say you were? I'm 17. Wh okay, buddy. You gotta give it up now, buddy. Don't get yourself fucked, buddy. Give it up, man. Give it up. Your mic is lagging. How old are you? Oh, it's no, I'm, I'm 18. Oh, it worked. You're 18? Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Cool. Uh, so... <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Minor, uh, I'm getting to your size, for real. Oh, yeah, yeah. Can I try and guess your size? Okay, go like this. So, can I give you my Snapchat? All right, listen. This is gonna be good, okay? You know? High five. I grabbed your... T oh, my God! All right, all right. You know, I love you, okay? Doodles. Silva, was that crazy? She's 18. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't crazy at all. That's what I'm saying. I don't know what you guys are yapping about, to be honest. See, everything about Riot completely baffles me. Because he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's done. He manipulates these girls to unknowingly do whatever he wants on his streams. And my brain can't wrap around why he would do this. And then I reminded myself, all the evidence 
is in your VOD. You told me why you do this. You told everyone. In a stream you did with Zerka, who is the most controversial person to work with. But later, in that exact same stream, Zerka added Nick Fuentes. Yes, that Nick Fuentes. But I'm getting sidetracked. In that stream, Zerka asked Riot and his girlfriend. Yes, Riot does have a girlfriend. Bro, what about like your IRL girlfriend? Max, like, I'm actually being 100. No, that's the go. The reason I don't like actually like f around with girls or anything is because like they're actually autistic. Especially the girls that live in my city. Bro, they're all copy and paste. But Maxie, bro, where are you from again? I don't know how I don't know how to explain it. Like Maxie's like, bro, she's so funny on God. Maxie, you know how much I like you, right? I fucking like, I, you know, I like you a lot. Okay, let me reassure that a lot, a lot, a lot. It's so weird. We're like, it's like, like it's just perfect. No, yeah, right? okay. we, we do connect really good. The only fucking girl I like on this whole entire Snapchat. But in that stream with Zerka, he asked them this. So, uh, what's your name? Matsimo. Hmm. You can call me Mats or Matsy. You're not a cuck, but you let him flirt with other girls. Yeah. Do you, do you let him? Do you let him take other girls? I mean, it's only for business, though. So there's your answer. It's only for business. To them, it's just content. Getting all these girls to do all this stuff for you is just for the business of it. For Riot's content. But does it make it right? Not even in the slightest. So you're telling me when Riot goes on Snapchat of all the girls that he's met on Omegle and shows every single photo to his stream and oops, he may accidentally show a nude? You're telling me that's a part of Riot's business? Riot's showing his friends on Discord photos of the girls he's gotten to do stuff with. So you want to see, uh, oh, I got you. This girl's body is ridiculous, bro. Can you yeah. see my phone right now? Yeah. Okay. God damn. Yo. <laughs> Chat, I'm an East yeah, right? Demon. Life's getting crazy. Yo. <laughs> Man, these guys might be doing way too much with these young girls. But at the same time, if you listen properly, you can see that these girls are also corrupt. Even, even with the fact that they are minors and little ass kids. They still like respond to the guy that is telling them all this corrupt and fucked up shit. You feel me? So everything is just fucked as well, man. Like everything in this thing is just fucked. You feel me? Everything in America is fucked in general. But it is what it is. I don't know, man. But let's continue the video. These girls who some don't know were on your streams. But to you, their bodies is your content. And you and your girl know what you're doing. I, you guys just know what you're doing. And the only reason why I'm bringing Riot's girl into this is because remember that clip of the 15 year old? Guess who was in a Discord call with him during all of that? I thought you were cool. Why all right. Stuff? Chad, that's, fucking, that's, that's the shit I do for you guys, bro. And you say it like so like, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, how is there a nice way to say, can I see your Please explain no, it to me, because if there is, no, I would love to know it. Bro, what do you mean fumbled? The chat, did you want me, yes or no? How did I fumble? He like, wanted you, the thing is. Bro, that was Loki fucked up, just telling you. I know so it. I, <laughs> she's actually maxi joke. Yeah. Chat, when she stood up, on God, I didn't even look. And when she was going to flash, on my life, I wasn't even going to look. That's he was like, doing it for you guys. That's weird. Like, I, my, I swear on everything I love, I'm doing this for you guys even though she's 18 there's nothing wrong with that yeah right there. yeah uh -huh. so. what's funny is the fact that this nigga forgot totally that the girl is flipping 17 even though she's like condoning everything the guy is saying but at the same time you as a guy you also gotta like think as well like bro this is a kid and if i had a little sister would i want her to be spoken to in this type of way so you just gotta like use common sense at the same time as the hold on and as the guy that this girl is little she's a little ass girl i can't be doing this but common sense common sense is not common i guess but do better man if you feel me like 
do better. Somehow it's just for the business of doing this kick content, right? Hey, so this part is being added in because everything that I'm about to tell you happened just a few days ago as of the time of this video going live. Now this next part needs a little bit of context, so bear with me here. So Brian has another content creator friend named Citrus. He connected with this girl on Omegle and got her to expose herself. But she didn't know that she was on his live stream. A clip of her ended up on Twitter. And Citrus's audience found any information they could gather to spread this video to people close to this girl. And it affected her. All I'm gonna say is that because of Citrus and Citrus's fans having that video get uploaded to Twitter of her exposing herself, it took a toll on her. She's already in a vulnerable state. So what I'm about to show you is Citrus and Riot fully manipulating that for content. So let's cut to a few months later, after the whole Citrus situation. Riot connected with this girl on Omegle and got her to flash. And then... You're on Discord, aren't you? No, I, I swear to God, I'm not. And you keep looking that way. No, yeah, I have another monitor. I'm, I'm watching uh, YouTube. All right, bro, I can't, bro. I, it hurts lying, bro. I'm a streamer, but I swear to God, I hit it when you showed your tits. All my life, I swear to God. Do you know who yeah. Citrus is? Because he's in my chat right now saying he knows you. Yes. Wait, Asshole what's your freaking expose me? Shit, Rish! <laughs> well, he didn't tell me that oh. he was streaming, and apparently, the <laughs> viewers were posting me on Twitter and to my family. Oh, sh they found your family? Mm hmm. Is this a bad time to ask this here again? He then proceeded to get her in a group Discord call with Citrus so that he can apologize for the Twitter incident. But must we forget, they're kick streamers. So we know the real reason why they got her in that group chat. I just want to say, like, <laughs> when I first saw, like, your I didn't expect it. And <laughs> like, <laughs> to be that amazing. And my chat was in love. The same as I was. And I just kept hyping it up even though I shouldn't, you know? I should have told you I was live. That was f***ed up of me. Not fun when all your viewers were just threatening me and they also brought in my dad. Yo, you guys are deep in not. Nah, AR loyals yeah. are fucked. I think he's apologizing for his chat. Yeah, I, I am apologizing for my chat. And and me, myself. I did a mistake too. You know? <laughs> Holy s***. So do you accept my apology? It might just take me some time. Because it was really hard. But for them, this is just content. So they're going to milk it for all it's worth. I, I'm sure nothing like that will ever happen again. Right, Citrus? Wait, wait. Yeah, I know. But I have a question. You know, when we met, I wasn't going to the gym. But do you think, like, anything changed? I mean, look at me laughing. Like, I won't stick my d*** between those big ass to me. Oh, my fault, my fault, my fault. I will fly you out if you are down to do an IRL stream with me in person. I will fly you out to Miami. Except the flight. Except, say yes, I am down to come to Miami. Ooh, I have a good idea. Would you want to play strip Fortnite? Every kill I get, you remove one's clothing. Why don't you make an no OF? Thanks. You would make so much money. Let me put you on. I will make you rich. All my life, I will. Let's you would make a bag. You would Let's make a bag. Let's talk about it. I will manage your OF. You know how you would be making at least $20,000 a month off of me. Are you wearing, like, what are you wearing right now? Can we see the outfit? Can I see him again? Uh, sorry, I just have, like, short-term memory loss. What the fuck, man? I can't even watch this shit. What the hell? She's like 17 years of age. Like, what happened to her? Like, America is fucked, bro. You're gonna do better, man. I swear to God. Like, what's going on? Uh, what? hey, crazy. Bro, that girl just told you she was a sexual assault survivor, and your next question was, how many bodies do you have? Wait, was it? Oh, God. Wait, your mic was lagging. Repeat that. That's literally what she... And he's got all of his friends and even Kick backing him up so riot this is my question to you do any of the girls that you've met on omegle and ended up adding on snapchat do any of them know do any of them know about your streams do any of them from the nsfw channel know i think i know the answer and i know you do too shame on you shame on kick Shame on any one of his friends that knew about you and your content and still let it slide. But will anything happen? The sad part is probably not because to all these shameful kick creators, well, it's only for business though. Content.
Kind of a side note, during one of his streams, he was watching Chris Hansen episodes, and uh, this is what he said. How would we do this? Like I said, as long as you're under 16, age of consent, parenthetically, nobody can know about it. You're grooming her, testing her to make sure it would be okay if you had- Wait, last pause. Wait, chat, you can f 16 year olds in Boston? I'm dead ass asking for a friend. Like, can you though? In Boston? Trolling. I just think the joke writes itself there. But uh alright, that's it. Bro, she is 16, man. I'll hide the screen right now if you show us. This is a lie. Citrus only fully covered two of the seven times they pushed her to do suggestive stuff on stream. And Riot only fully covered four of the seven times. And Citrus's audience were clipping and saving portions of the entire stream. I'll hide my too. Hold on one second. Black screen right now we'll let them out and after she does citrus adds his friends to the call Hello? yo so, so, hey I don't, hey no questions asked show them show them to my boy hold on let, let it rip. rip let it rip she has a later show us yeah can we see her yeah, yeah, yeah let's see it. we just want to see it. how we learn is like visual instruction can i see her arch and when this girl found out that these streamers were not covering the screen when she was exposing herself again, therefore causing Citrus's fans to be clipping portions from this stream to post online all over again. She talked about unaliving herself, and this is how they react to that. You never turned the camera off, did you? No, I did. On, on God, I did. Oh, GG's. Uh, GG's. Who the f snitched? I'd never Weird. Kid, yeah, bro. I just don't want to go see that again. No, I understand. You just don't have to. Just don't give them Yo. the attention. Like that's all they want. Yeah, it's just. <sighs> yeah, that bitch is gonna fucking kill herself. Okay, can I see you smile, please, for me? A smile, just a quick smile. Should I tip her, bro? Is that? Just be like, yo, wait, can I just send you money and you just forget about it? Wait, type in one if you guys think she'll actually do it, put a two if she won't. I don't think we should test the limits, of course, but like... Look at me, you hear me? No, drop your phone now. Stop going through these messages, because that's what's ruining your mood. That's not what's ruining her mood. She wouldn't be getting these messages. She wouldn't be getting these threats. None of this would have happened if it wasn't for Citrus and Riot, and yes, other kick streamers who fully manipulated her without her knowing that she was on a live stream. Mentally, you need to jump over those obstacles and be the best. You are the best. You can't let no one stop you. You are the f***ing queen. Do you hear me? And people love you. People care about you. Yo. You have your own book. And there's going to be a happy ending at the end. I know oh. it. Yeah, we're... Don't say that. Don't Yo. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. This was a crazy roller coaster, bro. No way you guys are putting bets on if she. Okay. <laughs> Yo, this is fucked. This is like side watch, not an e day. Everyone has a reason to be alive. Everyone has a purpose on this earth. So you have a purpose on this earth. We are gonna make it out, and we're gonna be the best. All right. Say that. We're gonna be the best. Say the best. What's your dream? I actually wanna know. What's your dream? He might be cooking. What do you wanna do, like, in life? I just wanna be a mom. Hmm. You want to be a mom already? You want to be a mom. What if I make you a mom? My chat says get her pregnant. They physically cannot turn off the content side of their brain. They always feel the need to entertain and feed into the chat. You want to be a mom? No, I got you. I got you right here. You want to be a mom, right? You have a lot to live for. You got a lot of good traits and everything, you know, don't don't make a rational decision. You, you know, you're definitely going to regret or irrational. Well, sorry. Then you shouldn't have made me show off my face. Up. What you're thinking is definitely not the answer. You know, don't be scared to like reach out and Here I'll DM you my number right now. You should never be in that state of mind. Um Okay You're still very young long life ahead of you. You know, don't don't think like that, you know Sorry, you, you just lagged. What'd you say? When she's talking about the problems that she's going through in her life, her story, Riot says this. Since that happened, just citrus. Can you stop f***ing yapping, bro? Nice. When you drive someone to consider death as an option, I think it's time to reevaluate the content that you're making. And I highly think Kick should reevaluate the creators that they're platforming. Because if they don't, 
something devastating could happen. What they were doing is so awful that I couldn't just stand by and just let that happen. So I reached out to her while this was all happening. And then she added me to the call. Now, I by no means am a skilled debater and I really don't think I did too well, to be honest. However, it didn't stop these streamers from showing their true colors. Hey. Hey. Who's this? I just have a question for you guys. What? Who's this? I'm scared. Whatever's happening right now is beyond messed up uh -huh. on so many levels. Did I not have a fool on straight on serious combo with her? Did you, did you not see that part? My chat was saying, oh, have her do it, have her do it. If I was egging it on by the chat, I would say, oh, do it, do it, just to get the laughs. But guess what? I talked to her. I f***ing spoke deep with her. Everyone has a reason to be alive. Everyone has a purpose on this earth. I want to be a mom. What if I make you a mom? My chat says, get her pregnant. You talked about managing her fans okay i'm a businessman and she was down let me manage her what's wrong with that trust me i'm not getting bro me. leave everyone yeah. go spam leave you were fixated on bringing her out to miami <laughs> guess what i'm not actually bringing her out to miami she got she gets happy then why did you say all that oh my god so then why what? did you say all that? if i was being serious i'm weird if i was lying i'm weird so what do you want kid what makes you happy look at you miles morales you are making a fool of yourself Thanks for the roses. Thank you. Thanks for the roses. Oh, I can't use that right now. Thanks for the roses. <laughs> um, ice cream so good. Thanks for the roses. I get that you're a content creator and your job is to entertain. But in a situation right now, I really don't think you should be entertaining people. Bro. You're the one who I'm going to be the good person here. Him. You know what? Let me get the W's. I want to get the views, not him. I'm pointing out a problem here with kick content. Thanks for the roses. What's the problem? Thanks for Wait, the roses. Wait, what happened? Thanks for the roses. You wanna, hey, you want a box, bro? You, you want to make money off this? Let's let's talk money. Well, now we talking money now. You you know what? This is going to go viral. Let's box. Let's make it more viral. Let's make money. So no, because that's a low. In my in my opinion, that's a low in content. No, it's not. It's it's just to get money. Like, do you not like money, bro? You saw the part where I was serious talking about her. Wasn't looking at chat, wasn't saying anything, wasn't laughing. How you were talking about how you take her out on a date and fly her out to Miami multiple times, yeah. Bro, you were watching the sure. end of it. When she was smiling and stuff and saying she was down. Of course. Of course he left. <laughs> nice. He left. No, no why'd I you remove him? him? Like, why'd, you, why'd you kick him? Yeah, what? Hey, dude, you're fried if you think staying in that call was a good idea. I don't give a f Bro. Also, just minutes after this stream, he paid a Twitter account to post a very positive and totally not fake story about him paying for four people's college debt. Even if this story is real, charity is a good thing in general, but not when it's used as good PR to distract from you making a girl want to unalive herself. But let's check out Riot's stream the next night. After everything that took place, Riot celebrated that stream. Put a one in the chat if you were here for last night's stream, let me know. Oh my God, last night's stream was crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Buddy, that shit was crazy. Yeah, last night's stream was crazy uh shout out to the boy citrus uh we we, we set up a fucking content factory last night that was that was crazy <laughs> oh i'm about to get locked up up nah kidding kidding bro 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 what the fuck are you doing what the hell are you doing kidding, kidding. you see what i mean he called the entire situation with that girl a content factory and then hours later during that exact same stream he gets a donation by one of the founders of Kick. Everyone keeps mentioning Riot Law. Yeah, you gotta get Riot Law. Yeah. What is this? <laughs> he trolls. So you can swear Eddie's here. Yo! Yo! Holy f Oh my god, Eddie, bro! Eddie, bro! Holy f No f***ing way! Alright, big shout out to Riot Law. That's, that's awesome. That's awesome. That's <laughs> so funny. No, no, not sure if I quite love you, man, but I f***ing I love the enthusiasm, a legend. I wonder how he would feel about donating to Riot if he knew the situation that happened just a day before. But if we've learned anything from the Ice Poseidon situation that happened a few months ago on Kick, something tells me he wouldn't care. And that's the problem with Kick. Do you understand how illegal 
this is. So I don't know how to process that Kick is allowing this. He's a verified account. How is this content 18 plus when the people Riot are talking to aren't even 18 plus? So this is his content. I'm shirtless. Your shirt is on. This is a really tough situation, you know? I could have got that bitch to do it everything chat like everything bro this is his humor like to make a joke about like someone beating women like you know, like that's weird Stop being soft bro it's a f joke this is his personality how many tattoos do you have four what's your favorite one my room can i see it okay why'd you get it it symbolizes the survivors also. yeah it's okay you can laugh that's how I go. You know, I usually just come with like masturbating, but like, I mean, like one's slightly above the other. Wait, you gotta. Alright. Wait, you, Jim? Bro, me and you should get some cardio in. How many bodies do you have? I'm just out of curiosity. I didn't mean to say that. Your teeth look really nice. I'm sorry, dude. Yo. Oh my god. Hey, crazy. Bro, that girl just told you she was a assault survivor and your next question was how many bodies do you have wait was it on oh, god wait your mic was lagging you repeat that that's literally what you and he's got all of his friends and even kick backing him up so riot this is my question to you do any of the girls that you've met on omegle and ended up adding on snapchat do any of them know do any of them know about your streams? Do any of them from the NSFW channel know? I think I know the answer, and I know you do too. Shame on you. Shame on Kick. Shame on any one of his friends that knew about you and your content. And still let it slide. But will anything happen? The sad part is, probably not. Because... To all these shameful kick creators, well, it's only for business, though. Content. Um, kind of a side note, during one of his streams, he was watching Chris Hansen episodes, and uh, this is what he said. How would we do this? Like I said, as long as you're under 16, age of consent, parenthetically, nobody can know about it. You're grooming her, testing her to make sure it would be okay if you had- Wait, last pause. Wait, chat, you can f 16 year olds in Boston? I'm dead ass asking for a friend. Like, can you though? In Boston? <laughs> I'm trolling. I just think the joke writes itself there. But, uh, alright, that's it. Okay, man, let me tell you guys how I feel about the video and everything that just happened on this video and this reaction. As you can tell, everything is so flipping bad and not okay, and it's not even something that someone can even talk about but all i would say is that we in a world that is a fucked up world and the world we live in is very very fucked and not okay and everything is just bad but at the same time to the guys that are like doing stuff like this and they are like doing all this crazier stuff on social media i would say they need to do better but at the same time it's not the fault i mean you can also do better as a human being, <clears throat> excuse me, you can also do better as a human being, even though we're living in a fucked up world, you feel me, you can also make a change and do a little better stuff with your life, instead of like doing something that is bad and outrageous, but you gotta understand like, we live in a world and the world we live in is very, very fucked, and everyone is just doing what they gotta do for money, and what they gotta do for fame. Cause at the end of the day, if you ain't got money, your life going to be your life is going to be very, very hard. And there is a lot of people that do crazier stuff for money. People kill for money. People scam for money. People do porn for money. People sell the nakedness for money. Like a lot of crazier stuff is being done in this world just for the sake of money. So to all these young guys and like young guys and kids that are like doing this crazier stuff on social media, it's not 100% their fault because they got to do what they got to do for money. I understand the power and the extreme 
people go to just to get the money i mean people do porn i go i watch one as well i don't watch porn. i mean i watch porn. i go on porn up and i see beautiful amazing beautiful girls phenomenal girls who like sell the self or sell the body for money and i'm just and i'm just sitting there like wondering like bro you are literally a girl you have the less like the less pressure to make money because you have a guy that can also take care of you financially you feel me so seeing like beautiful amazing girls like that sell their body and sell their body for money makes me wonder like why what 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 can what can't people do for money or what can't people i uh, won't what will people not do for money you understand what i'm trying to say so yeah we live in a world that is fucked up and people do whatever and go to the extreme for money but i just feel like if there isn't the motivation of money behind every human being the life in the world we live in will be a better and more safe place and planet for us to live so to everyone who find themselves to the victim to the person to the humans to everyone who participate or is involved in everything that happened in this video I would just say you guys to do better and just not be motivated by money 100% of the time. Do something that also makes you feel like a human being and makes you feel better about who you are and what you heard. So yeah, man, that's what I'll say. I know, I know I'm not perfect. I'm trying to be better and do better as a human being every day. So I'm not judging. I'm not, I don't have the right to judge. I'm not God. God is the only one who will judge everyone. I am a sinner. You are a sinner. Everybody is a sinner. So let's just say you guys, I would just say you guys should do better. And please, let's make this world and this planet a better place for you and for me.